So recently I noticed that my rat trapping videos are getting a lot more attention. I think this is because Mayor Eric Adams in New York has declared war on rats and even gone to the trouble of hiring a rat czar. It's created so much publicity that even the New York Times came out to my house and took some photos and interviewed me. Also, Joe Rogan recently featured one of my videos in his podcast. So with rats being the hot topic lately, I wanna let you know that I have some great rat trapping videos coming soon. Some brand new traps that are really amazing, some of the best in the world. But in filming these videos, I realized it's really important to have a tame pet rat to show you how the traps work. And my pet rats died several years ago, so I thought I'd replace them. But people are always asking me, they wanna see behind the scenes how I take care of my pet mice and rats. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how I set up their cage, then we're gonna go to the pet store and buy these two rats, and then you get to meet the new Mousetrap Monday staff. This guy name is Judas. It's for an upcoming video where we make a Judas rat trap. It's where you have live rats as the bait and the wild rats come in and get caught. So before we go and pick up our new pet rats, it's really important that we have the cage all set up with everything they need to have a comfortable life. Here I have a 50 gallon aquarium. That's where I'm gonna keep them. I've had rats in this in the past, but my rats died several years ago and I haven't replaced them. So I cleaned up the aquarium. It's been sitting on the shelf, but now we can get it all ready. This is enough space for them and it's easy to clean, but it needs quite a bit of work to give them a true home. Now, an important thing you need is to make sure they don't escape. Here, I have a lid I built with a screen so they have proper ventilation and it's pretty heavy. It fits tightly on top so they can not escape. Now, things you need inside here are bedding, a nesting place, clean water, food, and exercise toys. Also, something for them to gnaw on so their teeth don't get too long. So step by step, I'll show you everything we need to make a perfect rat paradise. Starting with the bedding. According to the American Fancy Rat and Mouse Association, they have a website that gives really great information on proper care of mice and rats. They talk about the proper bedding and they wanna make sure you don't use cedar or pine as they contain toxins that cause organ damage and respiratory disease. They recommend you fill your cage with one half to one inch of bedding made from hardwood. Now, after talking to several very serious mouse and rat breeders who keep large numbers of animals, they say their favorite bedding material is made out of alder. Now, I couldn't find alder at the local pet store, so instead, I made my own bedding material. So here's the alder log that I'm gonna use to make our shavings. I'm gonna set it on the ground, run the power planer over it, and collect the shavings in the tarp back here. This is much easier and cheaper than buying them, and I can use the wood that I wanna use instead of what's available, like that pine that's just not good. Oh, Ruby brought me some flowers. Are you ready to make some shavings? Yeah. She's been picking these flowers. What kind of flowers are these? Uh, daffodils. Daffodils. Okay, let's make some rat shavings. <laughs> So it didn't take long at all, less than 10 minutes to get all the bedding we need for a rat. So we'll fill the bottom of our rat cage with all that bedding material, at least a half an inch thick, if not a full inch. We'll spread it around and we'll clean this on a regular basis, weekly or even more often if needed. That way we can avoid disease and keep the smell down Rats naturally are very clean animals and they don't like making a huge mess of their living space. Okay, this is a good start, but next we need to give our pet rats a place to hide and feel secure, a nest box. Now a nest box can be something as simple as a cardboard box, but those won't last very long, they'll fall apart. You can purchase a pre-made nest box, but they're very expensive. Instead, I decided to custom make my own nest box that fits perfectly inside this cage. It's pretty complicated. It will have two different layers for the rats to hide and it consists of 10 different pieces. I already cut these, so I'll show you the pieces. We'll put them together and place it inside a rat cage. So some of these pieces look kind of funny, but they'll all make sense when I put it together like a puzzle. To do that, I'm gonna use screws and wood glue. So let me show you the nest box I came up with.
Okay, here's our completed nest box. There's a chamber down below with an entrance right here. I included some ventilation holes. The second level, this folds up, you can see it. They'll fill that with nesting material. There's a ramp to go up and enter right here. And there's a ledge right here to get on top. Now there's a big hole here because that fits the food bowl. And that way the food is up and away from the bedding, won't mix up. And for a food bowl, I'm using a ceramic that they can't chew up if you use plastic. Oftentimes they'll chew it to pieces. So let's place our nest box in the cage, then we'll make our next item. We'll set our nest box in the back corner being custom made, it fits nicely. Now we're gonna give our rats a way to exercise with a wheel. This is a rat sized wheel and it's very quiet. You don't hear it squeaking all night long, but it sits pretty low to the ground. And in my experience, it fills with bedding as they run around, it goes inside. So we're gonna build a platform to raise it up. Okay, this is very simple. Here's our platform and there's two holes that match up with holes on the bottom of the wheel and we're gonna bolt those down. There, now it's elevated. It won't get bedding inside and it's perfect exercise for a rat. We'll place our wheel with the stand right in the center. Now they have a place to run. They have a nest box. They have a place to eat with this bowl and now they need water. Now I recommend using a glass water. I've had plastic ones and they've chewed through it, but this one's really designed to fit on a wire cage. So I'm gonna have to build a stand that fits inside this to hold up our water. It's held up top with a spring and I have some eye screws right here. We're gonna put those on the top of the board. Also a piece of wood with a circle to hold up the base and we're gonna screw it together in this L shape that will support the water bottle just like this. Looks good. We'll place our water stand in this back corner. Now they have food, a place to hide, a way to exercise, clean water. I just need to add a few more things. I'm gonna give them some food right here. I'll show you what kind I use. Also something to gnaw on. Their teeth are constantly growing, so I want them to be chewing and I have a few things I like to give to the rats to make sure their teeth don't grow too long. Now if you go to a big box pet store, there's quite a few options on feeding your mice and rats but most of that feed is not adequate. I feel the best diet is specifically a rodent diet of 18% protein. You can get this on Amazon, it comes in a large bag. And these are small pellets. This should comprise most of what your pets are eating. You can also give them a few treats, but it's really important they have a balanced diet of these rodent pellets. And these are the few items I'll give my rats to chew on and sharpen those teeth. We have a fresh apple branch, they'll chew off the bark. Here's some popcorn I grew in my garden. This variety is called Glass Gym, and the rats really like to chew on those hard seeds. And some pieces of antler. This is an elk antler, and here is a deer shed. In the wild, when the deer and elk shed these, rodents love to chew on the ends, get the minerals, and sharpen those teeth. So we'll give these to our pet rats for a treat. And the final items we'll give our rats is nesting material. Here I have some wool. My son is doing a 4-H project, and recently he sheared his sheep. So I gathered some of the wool up and we'll place it in their nest box. Now I do have an idea for a future video. After my rats are in it for a while and it smells like my pet rats, I'm gonna use this as bait on a trap to try to catch some wild rats, see if the smell brings them in. But first we have to place it inside their nest. That will be nice and cozy for them. Well, we now have a great cage for rats to live in, including bedding material that's safe for them, things to gnaw on and chew, like antlers, corn, and a stick. We have fresh water right here, a nest box that's two levels with nesting material, a really great food for them to eat, and an exercise wheel, and a lid that will keep them safe inside. Our next step is to go get a pet rat. Now I already searched around and checked out the big box stores like PetSmart and Petco to see if they sold rats, and they don't. They pretty much only had pet mice, guinea pigs, and hamsters. But I did find a smaller pet store. It's really an old house that was converted into a pet shop, and they sell rats. So we got our rats. Uh, when we went inside, the owner of the store didn't want any video and I'm gonna respect his wishes, but we got two rats, a male and a female. So let me show you them once we put them in their new cage. The kids have fun going to the pet store and inside this box, we have two large rats, a male and a female. So we should have babies soon. 
The male has dark fur and the female has white fur. And pretty much they sell them at the pet store based on the size. Different prices for different sizes because most people buying rats are buying them to feed to their snakes and reptiles. But not these. These are safe and going to have a very good life inside the cage. Okay rats, come on to your new home. There's the female. You see her? Oh, we don't want her to bite me. Come on in there and let the male down in there. Uh-oh. You see him inside? Oh, he's going to come down. Yeah. Oh, he's going into his house. Oh, did he go in his house? Uh-huh. Oh, that's so nice. And there's Judas on top. He's checking out the food and the branch there, the apple branch. See if he finds his new house. Oh, there's Judy down below. She's coming out to check things out. Oh, he wants his corn. He wants the corn? Oh, he wants to go in his wheel. Judas is climbing on top. Judas is climbing on top next to the food. Where's Judy? He wants to get out of the cage? Yeah. Well, I don't want him to get out of the cage. I think... Oh, he wants to eat that stick. He's going to eat the stick. Okay, let's let him explore their new house, okay? Say bye-bye, rats. Bye-bye. Well, it's been about a week, and as you can see, our rats really like their new home. They built nests inside the nest box. They use both the top and bottom level. They like the food. And Judy here really likes the wheel. She's pretty much running on it constantly. I put motion cameras at nighttime, and she was running all night long. Judas is a little more shy. I think he's right here, but he'll come out. As soon as I try to get him, he goes to the bottom chamber. That's where he feels safe. I'm still going to work with him. That way he won't be so nervous. But Judy here, she's much more friendly. She wants some treats. I found one way to tame him is to give him some seeds or nice treats like fruit. She really likes apples. Now because our rats are still kind of shy, I'm going to keep working with them. Judas, he's always hiding, but Judy's becoming more friendly. So in about a week after I've worked with them, I'm going to do a close-up so you can really get to see our new pet rats. So we have come a long ways in taming up our pet rats. Here's Judas. He's pretty much light brown with a white spot on the forehead and a white belly. He's much younger and he's kind of timid and shy, but like I said, he's taming up and he's going to be a great part of the Mousetrap Monday staff. And this is Judy. She's really sweet and agile. She's an albino with white fur and red eyes and she loves treats. So she's going to be in a lot of thumbnails and videos. So hopefully you like this video on showing you how I bought my pet rats and how I take care of them. And leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on proper rat care. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some great videos.